be. Well, we're keeping an eye on a wintry mix heading our way. It's not a big system, but the timing could make things a little tricky and also a slow go on the roads. Meteorologist Lauren Casey is in for Kate, and she's here with a look at the spots that could get a little dicey, right, LC? Absolutely. You know, whenever things start falling from the sky, things get a little weird on the How roads. How about it? How about it? Yep, so that's what slow we're going to be. Slow your roll. <laughs> yeah, slow your roll. That's what we're going to be contending with through the day tomorrow as we deal with some rounds of a wintry mix, but all is quiet right now as we get a live look at Center City, Philadelphia. It's cold. It was cold this weekend. It's cold right now. 36 degrees in Philly, 34 in Allentown, 20s in the Poconos. We're in the middle 30s down the shore. Same case across portions of Delaware. Wind speeds, though, are generally calm to light, and they will stay this way throughout this event. It is gonna, isn't going to be one of those storms where the winds are whipping along with the precipitation falling. So, good news in that category. Storm Scan 3 showing us we're quiet for right now, but there's a leading edge of the precipitation slowly moving off to the north and east, overspreading Washington, D.C., trying to make its way into southern Delaware, where we could start as some light snow or a light wintry mix. We're seeing those surface observations coming out of D.C. right now for freezing drizzle, snow, sleet, plain rain. And that's what we're going to be dealing with as we deal with this system. Pretty disorganized, not a ton of moisture, but it will bring us some periods of light snow and light freezing rain that will develop overnight tonight. Our low temperature, 30 degrees, so whatever falls is going to stick, but it will be light in intensity. Same case through much of the day tomorrow, dealing with periods of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Then a transition over to plain rain, especially along 95 and points south and east. 95 again going to be the dividing line with another storm. Our high temperature tomorrow in the city, 37 degrees. So we're not going to see a ton of snow. We're going to only see a little bit of freezing rain, but even a glaze can cause big problems as far as slick roadways. That's going to be the big concern with this system tonight and through the day tomorrow. Also, the refreezing of anything that falls, including snow and plain rain. So future weather showing us as we head into this evening. Still pretty quiet, although this model not picking up on all that's going on in DC right now. So we actually could see the preset moving in a little bit earlier than this is indicating. Check out these temperatures. Marginal right near freezing. So a divergence of one degree at the surface or even up to the mid levels will change our precip type. So these storms are so hard to forecast, but it does look like 95 is going to be that dividing line as we head into tomorrow morning, dealing with a wintry mix in and around the city, especially in PA to the the far south and east, all rain. And as we head into the afternoon hours, we'll start to see some warmer mid level air build up towards the city. Still north and west, you're dealing with winter type precipitation, sleet, and snow. And then as we head into the evening hours, temperatures starting to cool once again. So that's when we could see some refreezing as we head into tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning. As far as accumulations, do watch out for the potential of a glaze of ice. As far as sleet and snow, a coating to two inches, and those higher amounts are going to be up towards the Poconos, Lehigh. Valley and Berks County, where we'll mainly see snow throughout this event. Then on Wednesday, we are all quiet, mostly sunny. Things get busy on Thursday. Looks like that storm system we had been tracking will stay offshore, but we could see a few flakes and we'll see a lot of wind and a lot of cold as we head into the end of the week and tracking potentially another storm by Sunday, Yuki. I don't like the way you emphasize it. A lot of cold. <laughs> <laughs> all right, LC, thank you.